And the CDM interview questions. In this video, we are discussing question number nine. It's about how do we address discrepancies in the third party reconciliation? It is also called vendor data reconciliation. So ultimately, CDM role is to clean the data, validate the data. They make sure the data is clean, complete, accurate, and in the logical sequence. For this purpose, we review the data. Data review process will be done. So as part of data review process, we perform the different types of reconciliations. So data reconciliation is a data review process, which will compare unique identifiers in the EDC data, like subject ID, visit, time point, collection dates, collection time, with the same data points in the external data sources. So it is kind of comparison of data in two different environments. So the data points to be reconciled. That means what are all the points to be reconciled? It will be defined and documented in the data cleaning plan. How to handle them? How to handle in case if you have any discrepancy between EDC data, external data sources? How to handle it? So discrepancies between EDC data, external data source are identified by the CDM and those discrepancies are addressed by the external data vendor, clinical research associate or site. So these discrepancies will be queried to the site, CRA or data vendors. After data reconciliation, discrepancies are communicated to the appropriate party. So we have communication modes through the data queries, vendor communication, or sponsored teleconferences. So we have so many modes, modes of communication. So when we communicate discrepancy to the appropriate party, then the data will be corrected to ensure both CDM data, external data are reconciled and both the data matching. Ultimately, we have to make sure the data that is collected into EDC system, it is consistent with the external data. It is matching with the external data. For that purpose, we do reconciliation. Whatever the discrepancies addressed in the reconciliation that should be communicated to the appropriate party, then the data will be corrected to ensure both the data is matching. Here you can see examples of discrepancies. Missing record, duplicate record. In one, let's say EDC, we have one data point. The same data point is missing in the external data sources. There may be duplicate entries, maybe incorrect formatting, incorrect values, sometimes empty fields, non-matching data, non-matching data. So these are all examples of the discrepancies that we commonly see in the reconciliation process. So as a part of data review, reconciliation has to be done. So in this way, you can explain the process of the reconciliation. 
addressing discrepancies in the reconciliation. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.